Hey everyone, the family of George Floyd planning to sue. Just what we're talking about, the guy formerly known as Kanye for comments he made on a podcast about George Floyd's death. But what few in the media are discussing is how this will be a nearly impossible case for the Floyd family to win legally. The family's attorneys will join me in a moment to tell me why they think I am wrong. The lawsuit stems from a podcast where Wes talked about a new documentary from right-wing commentator Candace Owens titled The Greatest Lie Ever Sold, George Floyd and the Rise of BLM. He said this about George Floyd. I, I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, Mama, Mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. Now, the medical examiner who conducted the autopsy testified that compression on Floyd's neck and restraining of his body by former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin were the primary causes of Mr. Floyd's death. Although the ME said heart disease and drug use also contributed, but no one remotely credible has said Chauvin's knee, quote, wasn't even on his neck. Now, lawyers for Roxy Washington, the mother of George Floyd's daughter, who is the sole beneficiary of his estate, announced a $250 million lawsuit. They intend to file for harassment, misappropriation, defamation, infliction of emotional distress. And amid backlash, the hosts have removed the entire interview from YouTube, their website, podcast streams, and they've apologized. I felt I could control the situation. I felt that I could uh, control the interview. And I've learned early on that I didn't, like, you know, um, as a black man, I, th I feel like I failed. As a uh, human, I feel like I failed. But as a journalist, I succeeded because as a journalist, you're not really supposed to have an opinion. You're supposed to let people talk. But Owens has defended Kanye on Twitter, writing they're attempting to hang Kanye publicly for daring to challenge their control over the masses. This lawsuit is a PR strategy. This comes amid an attention-grabbing week. We've been talking about it already with Chris. He was booted from Twitter and Instagram after posting these anti-Semitic comments. He then announced plans to buy the right-wing social media platform Parler, saying that the site's relatively lax content policies are vital to free speech. The CEO of Parler happens to be Candace Owens' husband. Then there was his interview here on News Nation with Chris Monday, where he pushed all the conspiracy theories and anti-Semitism. Many in the media want to excuse his comments as mental illness, but I say he knows exactly what he's doing. But here's the legal problem. You can't legally defame a person who has died. To be defamed, a person has to be living and lose respect or money or be ostracized as a result of the defamatory comments. And I don't see how they get around that reality by just trying to sue on behalf of the estate for these other torts. But his attorneys are well aware of this challenge and believe they have a way to deal with it. And so joining me now are attorneys Naru Witherspoon and Kay Harper Williams, partners at the Witherspoon Law Group and attorneys for Roxy Washington. Thank you both for coming here. Appreciate Thank it. You. Naru, let me start with you. What, what do you think I'm getting wrong here? Well, I think, um, you know, let's let's use the Alex Jones case, the Sandy Hook uh, verdict that recently came out. Let's talk about that as precedent. You know, our claims are based in intentional infliction of emotional distress, okay? And so in, in Texas, you cannot um, inflict emotional distress uh, on another person. You can't cause harm. I, I, think, I think what everybody is missing, you know, everybody's talking about free speech right now. Everybody's talking about, um, you know, well, you know, he has the right to say whatever he wants, and that's just not true. But what, what is true is that, you know, Americans have the right to free speech, but there yeah. are limitations. No, but, but I'm, yeah, I'm not talking about free speech. I, I agree with you on that. I mean, that, that doesn't seem to be the issue. But let me follow up then with Kay on this. You know, the Alex Jones case is one you guys have, uh, have, have cited. The difference with Alex Jones is, number one, he didn't fight the case, right? There was just an, a, a judgment issued against him because he didn't present a defense. And number two, the parents were also defamed by Alex Jones. And they're alive. And so it's not really comparable to say, oh, this case is just like Alex Jones, is it? 
Well, so that's not quite true. So th there are uh, there are plaintiffs that were a part of the Sandy Hook case the, against Alex Jones, Alex Jones, uh, who did not have the defamation claims. So uh, some of the parents only had intentional infliction of emotional distress claims, and those are valid and can stand alone if, if we choose Texas as a jurisdiction that we that we. But he's going lawsuit. after the parents. That's the difference. Is Alex Jones was mocking the parents. He was saying that they were actors as well, that, and that makes this different. All Kanye is saying, again, and it's, it's off, the, off the wall, not defending what he's saying, but, but, but what he's saying is about the death of George Floyd, not about his family members. Right. So I just have to correct you that there, some of the parents did not have defamation claims. They only brought intentional infliction of emotional distress claims, and that claim can stand alone in some jurisdictions. So we have some options jurisdictionally, and we're exploring those. Um, so, so in that way, it is very similar. Um, we, we can also bring up uh, the, the Seth Rich case, which also provides a great framework uh, for something similar, right? Where Seth, Rich, Seth Rich's parents sued Fox News yeah. uh, for, for, for things very similar. So, yeah. and, and we're not just talking about Kanye West. You know, we're talking about Candace Owens and potentially other defendants in this case. Yeah. Narub, it, it does seem to me that you have to concede as a legal matter, though, this is an uphill battle. Well, no, I, I, can't, I can't make that concession because, as you know, as an attorney, it's ultimately up to a judge. If we present evidence that support the issues, then we have a claim. You know, we get to go forward and present to a jury. Yeah. So I, I can't make the concession. And, you know, Dan, one thing I, I want to share that, you know, we haven't talked about, we haven't talked about misappropriation. One of our claims is misappropriation. And for the viewers, that's just the unauthorized use of someone's image and likeness. And I think you would agree with me, Dan, that Kanye West has absolutely used George Floyd's name, his image, and his likeness for profit, and he's doing it without permission. Yeah, well, we'd have to see exactly in what the context was, because as you know, that you are allowed to, to use it in some context, but you're right. You can't use it to sell goods, uh, for example. Uh, here, here's the good news. I, I think you guys have a tough case. The good news is that uh, he's got a good legal team uh, with him, so you guys are going to certainly give it the best possible shot that it, it can, and I'll be following the case closely. Uh, so, Nuru Witherspoon and Kay Harper Williams, thank you uh, for taking the time to come on the program. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.